Hi, we're the Moms of Furries. I'm Carrie. I'm Joelle. And we're frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Joelle. It's fine. We were trying to go live stream, but somewhere something's not connecting properly. So we'll work on it. But for now, let's just do our podcast. And at some point, we are hoping to record us recording our podcast. So those who want to interact on video can. And actually, we might even record our live stream sometime if I can figure out how. I don't know. Anyway, hey, are you still hey, tired? Hey, I'm so tired. So here's what you folks don't know. So um, Joelle said, hey, let's record after work today. And we both worked. Um, and so we're going to meet at 3. And I said, okay. So I went at like 2.45 and I got my computer ready and I logged in and I set it beside me and I fell asleep. And what woke me up was Joelle having logged in and saying, hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it takes a while. We had um, someone DM us and ask us if we were unpacked and if it took us a while to... Uh, get back, you know, I guess in the swing of things. I don't know that we answered her, but it does. We did. Yeah. <laughs> did we? Good. We answered. And here's the thing. I don't know about you, Joelle, but my suitcase is still sitting exactly where I brought it in the night I got home. And I'm still tired. I'm still recovering. My throat is a little scratchy, but here's the thing. I know we did it right. Oh, it was so great. Oh my gosh. So first night, everything stayed in the car. I brought in my keys and my phone and I locked the car and left every single thing out there. Then yesterday, what what is today? Tuesday, Monday. Yeah, that would be it yesterday. <laughs> and the kids bring in the totes and just bring them downstairs. Finally today, I took out our dirty clothes from our bag and threw it in the washer. And honestly, I think it might be still in the washer now. And I think I'm just going to have to rewash some things because I wasn't able to get it processed. And I am exhausted. I am exhausted too. And you're ahead of me because I have unpacked nothing. Well, but you all day yesterday and today. So I, I did work and I sent, I'm so proud. I sent pictures, just highlights of the con to my team that I work with mm -hmm. because I'm really proud and, and they love them. It was That's awesome. And not to put too light a spin on it, but this was the best con ever. It truly was. Um, I don't know how everyone feels about the convention and for the young freaks it was the best ever at to up to this point it was so busy i mean saturday except for a very few instances like during the dance comp and um i think during the first suit parade other than that it was almost standing room only we had kids kneeling around the craft table because there weren't chairs to sit on I had parents sitting on the floor. Parents sitting on the floor in the back. And it's funny yep. because normally, you know, we have those waves of like, there's a lot of folks and then it gets quiet. Yeah, and there was none of that. I think Friday was, a, Friday morning, the morning session was a little bit like that. And we're like, oh, okay. It's a little bit busier than normal, but kind of that wave. But then Friday when we reopened at four until we left. And quite honestly, this is the first year that we could have been open all day on Sunday and been busy still. Yeah, I definitely agree. And there wasn't a time when we opened that there weren't kids in the hallway. Well, you know, generally, well, the first year we stayed open for more hours. The first time, not first year, but the first time we ever did the Young Free Chill Space. And it was at Anthro Northwest. Um, we didn't know what to expect. So we left the, the um, room open, I don't know, almost all day on Sunday until the later afternoon. And it was dead. People were leaving early Sunday and we just didn't have a lot of parents or kids come in. So we, that's why since that point, we've always only opened up like two or three hours on Sunday. But this year we had parents um, registering to come only on Sunday, which was a big surprise to and bum because we weren't open. But, you know, every time we'll learn, I think next year we have to figure out how to, to stay open longer. Plus this year it would have been amazing to be at the closing ceremonies because yes. if you guys didn't hear, we were given the Founders Award at Anthro Northwest's award ceremonies. Um, they brought it and presented to us earlier because they heard uh, that we weren't going to be there. Um, but yeah, we, we got the Founders Award. Crazy. That was so meaningful. That was very, really, really cool. We're very, very honored to have been given it. So, but you know, we do, we, we love partnering with Anthro Northwest. It feels like both of our missions are very aligned. So, um, 
I think this year is a testament to that. It was so packed. It, it really was. And it was really rewarding. And not only that, I mean, the Young for Chill space is great. And I couldn't be more proud of what we do. And, and all the work that goes into it is definitely worth it. Even, you know, prepping and coming back and reorganizing and cleaning up. It's all worth it. Right. Um, but the con itself was wonderful. We Not that we, we didn't, I didn't get to spend much time outside of our room. We No, we didn't do, honestly... We didn't do anything really. We went to one panel, which was nice. It was great to go to Pastel's panel. And we got to see some of the young, um, the fursuit games. And oh, no. we, we did a the dealer's good, den at the end. Like after a the right. one, yeah. one loop. But when we weren't in our room, we connected with people. And that was really meaningful. It was people we don't always get an opportunity to connect with. So that was new for us. It so was. that was really rewarding. Um, we had we met new people. I feel like we've bonded with some folks. And, and for me, and, and old friends we extra bonded with. And that was super meaningful too. So I couldn't be happier with the experience. I agree. It was a really amazing con. I see what you're saying. For us, yeah, it was great because of our time that we had the room closed or the time that we should have been sleeping, we were bonding with other people. <laughs> that, yes. And you're right. We really got to finally spend some time with some people we just have not been able to connect with like that for a while. And we met, we got to connect with some people we've seen, you know, through social media, we kind of know, but we've never really met before. And so that was really cool. We hope to spend some more time with them in the future. It's so hard for us at conventions because we tip, we tend to be um, overscheduled, <laughs> overcommitted. Yeah. Well, and this was our fourth Anthro Northwest. This was Anthro Northwest five. Right. Uh, this awesome, is our yeah. fourth. We only have missed the first one. I hope we never miss another one. Right. And we have finally figured out where to get food. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know if you saw, but I believe it was Shutter Wolf on the way home, or once I got home. Something they were saying, they had to drive out of the city. They planned to drive out of the city to get a breakfast under $100. And I said, no, we found a place. So next time, if they're there, they're going to walk to breakfast with us. That sounds wonderful. So big shout out to NYC Deli for $5 breakfast sandwiches that are amazing. So delicious. And so um, yes, and we found a dim sum place. I'm not going to shout out their name, actually, because I want us to be able to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the deli, I think we will because we don't see a lot of people up and about at the time that we go. No, that's not a problem. The only thing I think we need to do with that is we need to stop and grab coffee, a giant coffee oh, on the way so there. Oh, we have because, a warm beverage to, to sip while we walk. And while we're eating the sandwich because that's the only thing that I was missing was having a coffee while eating that lovely, lovely sandwich. You guys, we had uh, sausage and egg and cheese on a croissant and they used a panini press to press it and it was flaky and warm and melty and oh my gosh, it was it hit the spot and it was only five bucks. Yeah. Which is super cheap in that area, so. Yeah, it was a deal and it was delicious and it was really satisfying. And so I feel like we finally nailed out, nailed nailed down the things that we need to do. Like Amazon Go, definitely a win until they close. And then you're ready only. That stinks. Um, and the hospitality room was really nice. It's just there's yeah. so many volunteers and, you know, it's good for a little nibble because nobody wants to take a whole plate full of food when you know many, many volunteers are going to need to come up there and get something. Agree, but really appreciate the efforts that they go to to provide varied snacks and new things every day. And so, yep. And the just the tomato soup and sandwich the one day. It was yes. a perfect lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And um, I want to do a shout out to Con Ops, which they are always good, but they were amazing to us. Amazing. And I went in there all the time and they never failed to get us what we needed. You know what? Not only do they get us what we need, but they do it happily. They are just delightful to work with. Yes. Anything. Science, anything we need. Um, Lucia. 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 Myth and, and Lucia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, Gabriel, who yeah. is oh, wow. just the best. A bright white light shines all around him. Exactly. The film festival. Festival. That's the, the festival was ball. amazing is back and it was so good the submissions oh my gosh we cried we laughed we really 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 laughed and cried really really laughed hard and really really cried hard like hard hard so hard 
Um, and, and it was just or, really great. Yes, and Boons was amazing. So happy he was back. He was so clever and funny. Who is it, Gray Tiger, that 3D prints those awards? Those awards are super cool and really heavy. Like, they're substantial. Agree. Good to all. And Tabin did a lot this year. Um, yeah. Tabin was over the uh, film festival stuff. Tabin also um, was in the game. charge of the Young Furries Fursuit Games. And I know a lot of other things, so I'd like to give a shout out. There's one other person that we would really, really, really like to shout out, and we would submit for guest honor if we could, and that is Haven. And Haven, we love- You read my mind! Haven is wonderful just as a person, but even when not volunteering, like, officially would run and get things for people, would jump in to do line monitoring. Like Haven will help in any capacity help is needed and does a mean facial except for Carrie. Literally mean, it's literally mean. Here's the thing about Haven. I'm gonna ignore the third degree facial burns. Here's the thing about Haven. So Haven stopped in and said, whatever is for lunch in the hospitality room. And I said, oh, are you going up now? I'll go grab something for Joelle and me. He said, yes. And as we're walking, I said, oh, Joelle was saying that we need to get a broom or something. I was chit chatting with my friend. And he's like, oh, hold on. I need to stop in con ops. He went in and got us a broom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> suddenly a broom. And what else? There was something else that we mentioned and suddenly Haven brought to us. Yeah. He just I made can't remember the other thing, but it was just like magic that that is just haven for you so here are the things about haven adorable funny sweet smart, smart great low-key and just easy to be also around. a lovely conversationalist like low-key but we could sit and talk for hours just about stuff yes so, so yeah if you don't have a haven we all we recommend you get one because they're fantastic can't have hours only for little bits of time when we are busy and with his consent oh, fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so yeah. let's let's review a little bit. We can't spend too much time on it tonight. Unfortunately, I have to feed my people, as do you. Um, yes, and my furry will become dead soon. Yes. Um, let's recap. Friday, great. Saturday, unbelievably busy. Sunday, busy with the potential to have become unbelievably busy had we been open. We forgot a shout out because a couple of years ago, we had a bright idea, and I think it's brilliant, to start having a dance party in our room. And sh like spur of the moment, without any planning, we asked a friend who is a DJ to help us with a playlist, and did, and it was fantastic. Provided a playlist for us this year, which was fantastic again. Really good. And this year, because the dance party last year was very last minute and spontaneous, we had a few kids join, and they had a great time. Those kids, I believe, were back most of them this year, but because we were able to plan and advertise and people knew about it this year, it was pretty busy. Our it parent, the, okay, so you guys don't know this if unless you've been there, the way it works out. So if you can envision our space at Anthro Northwest, you walk in, we have a large conference room with our craft room and table set up and chairs. And that's where the activities, badge making, art, all that kind of stuff is, is done. Then we have an adjoining room that is dimly lit. It has the galaxy projected onto the ceiling. It's super quiet. And that is our quiet space throughout the con, except from 10 p.m. to midnight on Saturday night. The quiet room is where we have our dance party. We crank up the music and these kids just dance and they jump around and they laugh and they giggle and all of that stuff. But most parents choose to sit out in the main space while that's happening and just peek in once in a while. The on parents' the, room. The parents' room. And this year, the parents' room was stinking packed. It was full. It was full of parents. That's how many kids were in there dancing. So what name do we use to shout out? Because I know there's a couple of different names, so I don't want to say the wrong ones. Snarling. Snarling. Yeah, so snar amazing playlist and so sweet. I mean, it was perfect for the kids and everything was appropriate. So I don't want that to go unmentioned that how much we appreciate their help with those playlists because they're perfect. Yes, that is the truth. Um, this year we did a scavenger hunt as well. Not as many people participated, but we did discover a, a love for a uh, Fennec Fox stuffy that we got and we named her Fran after one of our favorite fur kids. Um, it's our Who volunteers at a con. different con, actually. We, yeah, we know at a different con. And so I believe we're going to have a friend that will travel with us because we need a Finnick. What do you think? Yep, I think and that also, that 
It's a very good idea. And also I think that we should still consider doing either scavenger hunt or something where we can do a drawing because I felt like that was um, just another way to participate. I think that it, we need to, I, it's all about our communication. We need to communicate yeah. the, the um, information about the game a little bit better, but that's easy to do. So now I think we understand how we can get better get that accomplished and we will yeah i mean each time we do a convention you guys are here with us this time but we tend to do this privately uh, or we have before we talk about how it went what was really successful and what we can improve upon and i agree our communication our signage within the room if we don't catch parents i feel like we've missed some in the past because if we don't catch someone at the door who's unsure um, and say hey you know this is a young for hl space where the mom's first they may pass us by and, and be a little bit anxious about stepping in especially when it's bumping agree and i know we're going to wrap up pretty soon sure, but i want to shout out one other person without okay. whom we would not have had a wonderful time and been successful and that is Miss Quinn, who was just a star volunteer, a sunny disposition, tireless, precious, and adorable. It was a wonderful convention. And other than just a few tweaks, I think that we really did it well. I think that our badge making and all of that went over well. Too bad our button maker broke because that was really, really popular. We were, yeah, we were so good. We broke some of our machine. So anyway, I think it's going to be good and we'll do it again in May. All right. Thanks everyone for listening. What are you doing? I was recording at you walking in Seattle in flip-flops.